After this three operation launched by Turkey, almost all countries in the world have intensified in this region. So what is real going on here? Fight against ISIS. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. First of all, let's watch this video. The mother holding a daughter in her hand accuses the Turks of killing her child, United States of battery. She claimed the kid she was holding was dead. So, how come a dead person blame? Fake news. This video is only 3 million views over the account Mutlu Cıvıroğlu. 40,000 people retweeted it, 9,000 people like it. And none of have seen a wink because people only see what they want to believe. The news that we seen almost every media of the world press was in the direction that Turkey hit civilians. Yes, you see people in civilian clothes, wounded or dead. But were they really civilians? If you look at the video in detail, you will see that there are guns around the people on the ground then why don't they have camouflages that exactly why ypg cdf banned militants from wearing camouflages and all clashes with civilian clothing but why because you can see in this video to make news that civilians are killed when ypg people are dead fake news in this video abc channel it says the turkish armed forces bombed and destroyed kurdish city this video right here appearing to show turkey's military bombing kurd civilians in a syrian border town this video video is an image and a drill images that appears after each operation. As you can see, the whole world claims that troops and Kurds fight in this region. But the real completely different. I can tell you this. As the United States and coalition forces in Syria are struggling with ISIS, but not with Islam. Also, Turkey is struggling with YPG and CDF, but not with the Kurds. Every day, we will face another lie on social media. Lies will always cover the truth. You decide which side is telling the truth.